<sighs> well, here I am in Hope. Surrounded by, I'm just surrounded by, uh, surrounded by mountain. Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to your Natural Land Bodybuilding. I got my Blue Moose Mocha. It's a different mocha than the Agassiz one, but uh, Blue Moose is pretty good too. Although they don't have mountain in their name. Pretty good stuff. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what takes more recovery effort on your body's part. Heavy weights or high reps? Oh, good sock. Good sock. Oh, uh, bad sock, not matching, bad sock. Now, I think I've covered this quite a few times, but you know what? Sometimes I cover it from different angles. Different angles, right? That's why I'm, different camera angles. You see this? See this? You getting sick yet? You getting sick yet? Yeah, it's the amusement ride. It's the amusement park ride of Natural Glam Bodybuilding right there. Hey, you just became privy to it. So let's go in the shade where the lighting is a little bit better. And so that way you can go puke. So the thing is, heavy weights are harder to recover from if you're going to failure. Okay, so this is the thing. So somebody said to me, hey, Jason, Charles Pollock, one of the best strength coaches ever, said it's harder to recover from high reps. Now, I don't know if he said this or not, but if he did, there might be some factors that he's taking into account here, and, and some of the things I do agree with. Maybe, maybe because of high reps taxing the energetic system so much, perhaps it can make it harder to recover from under certain circumstances. But I still believe, and it has been still my experience, that when you are lifting super heavy weights, like say five rep range, six rep range, and you're going to failure or close to, it's harder to recover from that day in and day out than it is to doing 20, 25, 30 reps. I find I could do 20, 25, 30 reps all day long, and I could do that you know, for the same amount of sets, and I could do that multiple times a week, sometimes five times in a week, and recover. But if I'm doing six rep sets or seven rep sets, it's a good chance that I'm gonna pull something if I do that every single day, because the type of tightness and the type of soreness that's established is much different, it's much deeper. And not to mention that when you're using heavier weights, it is harder on the joints. There's no doubt about that. You do strain the joints more so. The joints have to come into play more so. There's more, hey, shut up, man. There's more overall tension on the joints and ligaments and tissues. And whenever you up the tension and even your bones are bending under some circumstances, that's gonna lead to uh, a larger amount of recovery that's needed in order for you to continue to do that. I think that guy's name is Woody. More than one reason, I think. Now I'm gonna approach this same thing from a different point of view right now, okay? This is the genius of natural glant bodybuilding. Mountain. There are certain circumstances where maybe high reps do become overwhelming. Like say you are training and all of a sudden you are just burned out from energy, the energy side of things. You just have no energy and you're so exhausted because you're doing rep after rep after rep and you're just doing strip sets, you're doing you know heavy <laughs> negatives after you've already hit failure, all this kind of stuff. For sure that will burn you out. And that can be classified as high reps. Say you're doing 50 rep sets and you're going so deep into failure, you're getting those extra four reps, everything like that. There is a possibility 100% that you will also overtrain that way too, okay? So it, it depends on what is the weak link in your system, I think. If your weak link is getting energy for your workouts, then maybe high reps is gonna burn you out faster than doing heavy weight. But if your weak link is muscle soreness and muscle breakdown overall, like say you are a person that just has a tendency to not be able to recover that well from muscle tissue breakdown, then heavy weight is probably gonna give you a hell of a lot harder challenge to recover from, right? So overall, I believe as a general rule for most, I think heavy weight will be harder to recover from, but there are some exceptions to that rule. So see, I'm an open-minded kind of guy. I'm pretty open-minded. 
I'm open to the fact that perhaps some people recover differently. That's what makes an amazing human being. I'm not saying I'm amazing, but you know, you can, you can, well, if you think I am, that's okay too. I wonder if there's somebody else on YouTube like that. I wonder, I just became aware of something. Is Woody taking a piss behind me? Hey man, have some respect, I'm filming here. So for those of you who are new to this channel, or for those of you who are here all the time, uh, if you can please share my videos, that would really help me out because YouTube is not sharing my stuff right now. For some reason, people aren't getting notifications and uh, it's not getting suggested or anything like that. So I'm totally dependent on you to get my stuff out there. So if you wanna help me keep making these videos, then I need some help, man. What are you waiting for? Come on, share it. Share it on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, maybe share it in the comments of some other videos. Maybe just tell people, hey, check Natural Glam Body Bling out, that'd be nice. Share it on a website or something, maybe a bulletin board. Share it with your mom, your dog, your cat, your grandma. Maybe your grandma needs some bodybuilding tips, I don't know. It's either that or I'm gonna have to start bodybuilding busking. And you don't wanna see that. This is bodybuilding busking. Just sitting around a lot, waiting, waiting to train. Bodybuilding busking, I wonder if that would work. In light of how YouTube is treating me and not sharing my stuff and everything, I guess I'll have to go to the streets, go to the streets to market my YouTube channel. Let's see how that works out. I wonder if anybody's got a quarter. There's a quarter. Anybody want a workout program? Huh? It's better than crack. I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get home, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and Mountain. And take care for now.